What's up everyone, welcome to Dink Tips episode 4. We're rolling along nicely, sorry that I missed last week, I was at Evolution 2015. Place 17th place overall, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, would have liked to get a top 16, but I can't be too greedy. Um, so this episode is going to be a breakdown of Quan Chi. Uh, a lot of people have kind of asked me for more specific stuff on how to play Quan Chi, how I play Quan Chi, how I do so well with Quan Chi. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the strategies and how I play them. Um, so he has many vortexes, many mix-ups, many combos, very good damage. The kind of key that I find is to get him to the corner, and he has very good corner carry. Um, the hard part is getting stuff started. So I kind of usually stay around kind of this-ish range, probably like right here, like kind of right outside sweep distance, um, because this causes a lot of moves to whiff. Um, you'll see me when I play, I walk backwards lots. Like I don't usually, I'll backdash to get out of certain strings and stuff, but I always like to walk because walking seems to, uh, he has a pretty good backwards walk speed. Allows a lot of moves to whiff, and then you can walk backwards and catch him with the back one usually. Back two moves him forward. So it closes the distance, and sometimes you can actually get hit by an attack as it's coming in. Like if I set, uh, I'll see if I can show you. I haven't tried this yet, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of dangerous to, to use the back two. See, he doesn't even have to be close for the back one to hit. I did the video about the back one before, though, so I'm not going to go in too much into that, but walking backwards is kind of a good way to avoid things. And then you can punish after the whole string whiffs. Um, so spacing is really important. He's very um, heavily relies on the spacing. Course forward to the rune is a good tool. Um, I used to end all my all my combos and uppercut into the bat, but uh, lately I've been doing it more into the uh, one for one into bat setup. So basically, my goal is either to go for resets using the four two one string, or you can use the down three. I don't use down three as much as I should, admittedly, but. Um, so yeah, if you're mid-screen, you kind of want to try and get him to the corner because that's where Quan gets all of his damage and his safe mix-ups and stuff. So you can do, like, uh... uh I kind of started that wrong. And there, he's in the corner. Um, lately, what I've been doing... Throwing the bat right away after, because you get a free bat summon, and then you can use it to get in. So if I'm back here, fireball, you get in for free. Do so your corner stuff. So off the low starter, I usually do this one. That's the overhead starter. And then you can do this one. Off the hard, the blockable. That's with the overhead hitting first. So you can also stop it after the trance here to go for a mix up. Uh, 
I've still been learning this combo, but it's a lot of fun when I actually hit it. <laughs> and you can do it off of any combo. So, basic thing is you just need to get the trance. So you can kind of see how deadly his corner game is, if you link all the combos together, right? If you think they're going to do a wake up, then you can just duck and throw the bat low to hit them out of their wake up. Right, Tempest Lao will probably... Where's his... Uh... Yeah, that's the EX. So, it, like, if you knock him down... Yeah, if you try to do the hard to blockable setup, he'll hit you out of it, so. So that way, bad hits, eats the armor, and then you're free to attack after that. So uh, that's a match with specific lore. characters like Devora, Scorpion, and stuff like that. Uh, Ermac's actually a really good one, because if you wake up teleports, if you do the hard to blockable setup, your neutral jump punch will actually auto-correct and hit him on the other side. It's really useful if you time it right. Um, so that's kind of my corner game with him. Um, sometimes, you know, this string, as we all know, is like really unsafe, so I would recommend not doing it. Um, unless you have the bat out, so let's go... Block mode always. So if you see that they blocked it, you can send the bat low. To save your butt. Kind of like Batman from Injustice. And then that's another one too, if you need to overhead that. Even though the rune's unsafe, throw the bat in to make it safe. And if you hit it, get a combo off of it. Ooh, he woke up. Right. Whoa, don't whiff her, that happens. <laughs> um, so, yeah. The, the trick is just trying to stay safe. Stay safe. If you set him to reversal back dash. As you can see, they can get out of that one. Let's go block always for this one. A lot of people, they'll, if they know the matchup, they'll try and back dash after this. Which you can do if you do anything other than the low. So you can see that one whips. So the low is guaranteed. Back dash out of the throw. The back too. So what I like to do, whoops, is this trance. That's super risky, but if you see that they're doing it, it might not be a bad idea. Especially if you have the bat out. Because if you have the bat out, they block the trance. You can just throw the bat out anyways to cover your butt. So that's not so bad. Um, so keep that in mind as an option, and then that way then there's like the whole double guess situation because then you know that they know, and everybody knows, and then the bat knows. And then you got zoning combos as well. Um, so one thing when you have the, uh, the bat out, they can... Uh, you know, they kind of have to respect the fact that you can just throw the bat out at any time. So sometimes they just hold it there. If you get three runes out, 
before you have to throw it. So sometimes you can do that, just to try and get in. And that also leaves a guessing game because you're doing just the regular runes. So then you can mix it up and then hit them with the EX rune to, uh, because they see one rune, then they try and move because they don't expect the second hit of the EX rune, and then that, that one hits them. So it's all about mind games and conditioning, and then if you hit them with that, we can do my 30% combo. I was going to call another bat, keep them away. If you think they're going to run, you can send it high. If you're going to jump, you can do the fireball. Make a hard read on the trance. Cover your butt with the bat. Um, so that's basically a little bit about the zoning. I have some older videos about zoning as well, with using the ground skull and stuff. It's actually really good. Um, a lot of people try neutral duck the, uh, the ground skull. So what I like to do is I like to throw the skull out and then throw the bat at the same time. So that way both of them are going to hit them. They're trying to avoid the skull, but you actually get hit by 12%. No meter. Because you just tried to uh, do that. Um, the downsides to Quan Chi in this variation anyways is his defense. His defense is not very good. So don't let anyone, uh, like, smother you, get on top of you, knock you down. Um, if you do, certain characters have block infinites against them, like Tanya and Liu Kang. Um, so, I mean, those matchups you might want to find a secondary for. Even Warlock won't help you because his armor is too slow. Um, so just be aware of that. You want to... It's basically, if you choose to play Quan in that matchup, it's either kill or be killed. You touch them, you better kill them. <laughs> and yeah, it sucks they have breakers, so you'll probably have to do it twice. Yeah, as you can see, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, so basically main footsie's tool, back two, back one. I explained a little bit about the zoning, about using the bat, so that they respect your bat options. Um, talked about his combos in the corner, talked a little bit about his combos mid-screen. Mayo has some good write-ups on, um, on, uh, Test Your Might, on how, geez, the active frames on that are crazy. Um, on some of the combos and the, how the gravity works on Trance. I'll try and link it in the description. Um, but other than that, that is basically how I play Summoner Quan Chi. If you have any questions, comments about what I showed you, anything that I didn't cover, anything that you're curious why I choose one option over the other, or something you think I might be able to do better, uh, let me know. And as always, just uh, leave a note on um, in the comments on what you want me to help you with for next week's episode. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for all your support at Evo. Hashtag Bonehawks. Shouts to STB. And uh, we will see you guys next week.